Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to write a simple counter. <clears throat> you can design a more complex stateful component by combining the concepts covered so far. These include initializing state, writing methods that set state, and assigning click handlers to trigger these methods. Um, so yeah, trick click handlers, what is that? That's in the HTML, you can write something that says if this is clicked, if this button's clicked, we're going to trigger, we're going to do this JavaScript method. And then what does this mean? These include initializing state. Initializing set state means setting the constructor function. Writing methods that set the state. Writing methods, we're going to write a method in here, which adjust the state that was set. The counter component keeps track of a count value in state. Counter component keeps track of a count value, which is here, count value <clears throat> in state. There are two buttons which call methods, increment and decrement. Here we have two buttons, increment and decrement. We have a button here. And as always, I don't like the way that they've spaced it because you can't even read this. So I always space my uh, stuff like this because I think it makes a lot of sense to make your code readable. Um, so yeah, this is button one. And button two and button and then this is button three here <clears throat> okay so button one button two button three and then we have our h1 and then it's in here we read out this dot state dot current dot count so that's rendering out to zero because right now this dot count renders to here or the uh, current count renders to here and that's where we get this and so our increment decrement and reset are these three buttons <clears throat> Write these methods. Okay, the counter component keeps track of state. Uh, there are two buttons which call methods increment and decrement. Write these methods so that the counter value is incremented or decremented by one when the appropriate button is clicked. Also create a reset method. So when the reset button is clicked, the count is set to zero. Okay, so we're basically going to write three methods, right? Increment, decrement, and reset. So let's just do that right now. Increment. And then I'm just going to do this, and we're just stubbing these in. Uh, decrement, and then uh, reset. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Make sure you don't modify the class name of the buttons. Also, remember to add necessary bindings for newly created methods in the constructor. Okay, so re newly created methods. We need to add, uh, what, what do they call it? Uh, remember to add necessary bindings. Okay, so this dot state or no, this dot increment is equal to this dot increment dot bind this. Okay, so now I've bound increment. So if we call that on this, on the counter JSX element, it will do that. And so now we can do this as well. Um, you could just copy and paste this out, but I think it makes sense, especially in this early stage when you're learning, to write this because you need to kind of get this into muscle memory if you're going to be um, writing React, um, you know, usefully. So this dot reset is equal to this dot decrement dot bind this. Okay, so now we have. What have we done? We've write, wrote, written these methods in. Um, we've also created a reset method. And um, there are two buttons, which call increment and decrement. And then also create a reset method. Make sure you don't modify. OK, so cool. let's run the test and see where we're at right now. So the counter should return a div element. The counter should return a div element. So here we're returning a div element. Here is the div element. It's within this return statement. And the counter should return, should render, counter should render a return with a div element, the single div element. So we're passing this test. Uh, the state of counter should be initialized with a count property set to zero. The state, this dot state, should be initialized because it's in the constructor function, it's being initialized, a state uh, set to zero. And so the state's set to zero here. Clicking the increment button should increment the count by one. So if we click the increment button right now, it doesn't do anything. So what, what do we want it to do? We should say, <clears throat> well, we know we can't go this dot state dot count, right? 
plus equals one. This is what I would want to do just from a pure JavaScript perspective, but this doesn't work in React. So what we want to do is go this dot uh, set state, and then inside of it we pass an object with we can just do count uh, is oh how do you do this? Count is equal to uh, this dot state dot count plus one. I think that that's how you do it. Increment? Cool. Man, I'm glad that's worked. I was not sure about that. And so now with the decrement, we're going to do the same thing. You could just copy and paste this and then just change this from plus to negative, but I think in this early stage of programming, it makes sense to write this out so you sort of get the muscle memory. State dot count minus one, right? And then what is reset? Reset does the same thing. This dot set state, but instead of going plus one, we're just saying count is equal to zero. Cool, and that's just spacing to try to make it look a little bit better. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm pretty sure this will pass the tests. Um, if we can increment, decrement, and reset. Whoa, reset, oh, count is equal to this dot set state count. Reset's not working. This dot reset is equal to this dot. <laughs> so I was actually setting the reset instead of to reset, I was setting it to decrement. So we need to make that to reset. So decrement, negative six, negative three, reset is zero. Cool. So now if we run the test, I think they'll pass. Okay, um, awesome. I hope that I explained this one in a little bit more in depth and made it more straightforward. When I was learning React um, in this my first time, I basically don't remember any of it because I just figured out how to pass the test by looking at the answers. So my intention with these classes is to make it so you guys learn a bit more and I go into it with a little bit more depth. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.